did one not too long ago, fucking 32 stories on that block of flats over by the uh, Chinese island. And uh, yeah, I was leaning, I had to lean over for that one. And it was, I don't like heights. Whoa, fuck. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Podcast. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. One, two. Yeah, you've done it before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast reporting to you live. And when I say live, I mean live. Switching on now. Boom! Inside the ride. Birmingham, to be exact. Second biggest city, of course, and representing hard. KBS is fine. It's house inside the place. What are you saying, my guy? Easy. You're saying you're all good? <laughs> yeah, proper stuff. We're on location here. This is what we're doing, you know. How you been? Not bad, not bad. Keeping, keeping. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something for nothing, man. This place round here is electric. So much graph going on at the moment. Yeah, it's popping a little. It's, it's get, wait, it's get, like I said, it's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. But well, how, to what end? Like, <laughs> I, honestly, I've never seen Birmingham so lit. I don't know, like, I, I live here, isn't it? Like, it's, it's quiet. <laughs> It is quiet. I mean, there's there's people doing stuff, but it is quiet. I ain't hearing it. Guys, for those of you who ain't been around these neck of the woods, and it's fair to say you may not have done, you, uh, especially big shout out to our international crew, you know, but we're dealing in like local local uh, talent right here. House is one of those characters that is on his own mission and bringing like a whole dynamic to the scene over here. Like, it, I've seen bunches of your stuff around here and it just feels to me like you you're challenging the the, the direction and, and Birmingham style you're you're moving in your own and it's and people are you know are receiving it well I hope so I mean I, I grew up the east end of the city which you yeah. know was was bombers and I moved over to the south fucking which is like you know Zuki the, the, the colors all yeah. the colors the bright stuff yeah. then I moved to Barcelona Spain did you? Yeah, yeah. How so, old were you when you did that? Uh, 17, 18. 17, 18. Um, and the graph was different there still, you know, they're up, they're up top, they're everywhere. Yeah. So again, it, it changed my views. So, it's, you know, I looked at all graphs, studied all graphs. Yeah. And then come back home and tried to open people's eyes. There's more to, to, to floor dubs and yeah. trains. Yeah. There's more to it than that. Yeah. You can do it all. Can have it all. Yeah. There's enough space for everyone, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so how did it all begin for you? I mean, we're talking like brief, a brief uh, overview of history, but like, where did it all begin for you? Like, what was the what was the cr- creative desire? What, where did that come from? Like, how did you discover graph? How young were you when you discovered it? I was in, I think I was in my f- like primary school, so I was young. Yeah. Uh, and the, the first thing I ever discovered was like Martha Cooper's uh, Subway art book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. nick that. That was that <laughs> thank comes, you. Came <laughs> straight, yeah, <laughs> came straight out with me. And I, I was amazed by what I was seeing in there. Like I'd never seen anything like it. Um, slowly, you know, obviously I've seen tags and things around. Mm. I got a bit older, started exploring on my own, and then I find, I, I, you know, I'd find graph yeah. before any of the internet stuff. I'd find graph and. Like, but well, out of curiosity, it, you would just... Yeah, be, yeah, I'd just yeah. go for a walk around the ends, around the canals, like, things like that. And, like, there was one place I used to go, Junction 2 in Oldbury, and it was this little undercover mm. thing underneath the motorway bridge, and it was always lit. It yeah. was, like, so colourful. Yeah. It was nice. And, yeah. you know, it pushed me, again, pushed pushed other things. <clears throat> the the Birmingham scene is... It, it holds a, a place of... Very different to the other other cities in London and in England. Sorry, it's, it, London has the, the the trains and whatnot, but but yeah, Birmingham has the rooftops. It has the roads. It has the again. I grew up with the buses. Yeah. Buses were always battered. You'd get on. There's still smell of it, like ink when you really? get on. Like, yeah, they're racing. You can love the buses. Looking That's at, crazy. Lean on a bus, you end up with a fucking tag on your side. Like, really? Yeah, really? Yeah, no, it was sick. Give me, give me, a, give me a, an overview of that time. What was it like when you know you'd be on a bus and it'd just be like, was it was it peppered? Was it absolutely? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, I wasn't really writing at these times. I was yeah. 
could get him on the bus for my mum and shit, yeah. seeing this. And yeah, they top, bottom, etchies all over the window, outside the back, you know, people would be like opening the fire escape, leaning out, fucking... That's crazy. I've been trying to find some pictures recently, they're not, there's nothing at the minute, but... Mad. It was crazy, the buses now, there's nothing, nothing on a bus, no, no one bothers. I'll scratch the window every now and then, yeah, drop yeah. some tags and I've got, if I'm on one. But. It sounds to me like Birmingham always has been intense in its uh, desires. Graft seems to be a bully and a king as far <laughs> as the streets go, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Having been on the buses like that, but then it migrates into all the other areas of, you know, of, of society. You know, That's the way it feels anyway. I mean, we're in Digbeth right here. This is... Uh, Semin- a seminal place, I guess, for, uh, one held of, of high regard as being a, a, a place where graph, you know. Yeah, I mean, this was was the little hub for it. I mean, this is where I grew my confidence with painting. Like, it's pretty much legal here, but, you, you know, you still get the feel of feeling illegal sometimes. So when I got back on to build my confidence, I just sweated this place for a bit, yeah. moved out, moved out further, further, yeah. further. Yeah, and yeah. It, it was good. I mean, I think we're going to lose it eventually, but it all ch- everything changes, doesn't it? It does. That's, that's, that's the... it. Once this is gone, that's it for Brum Graph. Not many people will carry on. Do you reckon? We'll lose a lot. Yeah, really. We'll lose a lot, you lose yeah. a lot of heads. Yeah. Why do you reckon that is? Like I say, people uh, people want to chill. There's people like they like the thought of doing graph, mm. but they don't like everything that comes with it. Once they get caught, they get arrested. That's it. They're, oh, I'm not doing it now. Is it the arresting bit that, that kind There's of... There's multiple things. People get scared by the people on the streets, get intimidated by the things around them, yeah. get intimidated by the sight of the police. Yeah, what, like, as, in like, as in like people trying to play the hero? Then. Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, I'm not screaming and shouting that I'm any kind of hero, yeah. but I get the job done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go no, out no, I mean from a point of view, it's like people, you know, you know, the kind of 11.30 pub... Um, <laughs> Exeters, they see somebody yeah. doing something and they suddenly want to be a hero and try, hey, what are you doing? Stop doing that. But crap. the last thing they want is to, to, to bother us. They'll say something, but you just carry on and ignore them and then that's it, they give up. Mm. They've got other things to worry about. They're pissed. They want to go and have a good night. So why bother with us? Yeah, 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 for sure. But for sure. I, I, do you think the attitude's changed a lot in Birmingham for, for, for Graf over the, it, over the it years? It definitely has. Like People are, are more warm into us. Like, yeah. you know, I, I go out in the daytime sometimes and. Oh, that was my thing. I loved going out in the day. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was ace. No games here. <laughs> See, look, he's on some brazen kind of behaviour. No, yeah, you can get away with it as long as, like... I mean, now they've recently, like, pumped out a load of these new cameras up here, they, like, they, and they work. Yeah, so you've got to be more careful now. Really? Yeah, yeah, but, like... Yeah, you could. Yeah. And they're very uh, inconspicuous. You, you wouldn't think to look so deep and then all of a sudden there's one there and you're yeah. like, shit. So this is, like, a part of graph, isn't it? We want to step ahead, pay attention where things are. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. get caught. That is definitely an attitude which resonates. The the attention to detail from a street artist or a graph writer is second to none. It's like people, they... You guys are, like, on high alert all the time. <laughs> you could say that. Like, I, I, I'm, I am. I'm paranoid about certain things. Like, I, I walk around in this fucking jacket a lot of the time. It's hiding, like, how many times have I been seen? But, yeah, Carry on, slugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, day in the life of Alst. Break <laughs> it down, baby. Tell us exactly what happened. What, what's your day consi- of, of a graph day? Tell me what it consists of. Well, I mean, as of late, like, I've stopped. Like, I haven't used it. I haven't picked up aerosols for a good few months. Just been fucking mm. using rollers, doing roller stuff. But uh, We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. You're on some next health shit over uh, here. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I get up plan where I'm going like I wouldn't always go out the day and just go willy-nilly paint something because it gets you into trouble get up plan where I'm going make sure like everything's ready mm. I'm ready to go go get the job done leave mm-hmm. go do something else mm-hmm. um, go to bed go that's to bed and chill the, yeah that's the day I've announced go and, and so d- 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 the night kind of thing not so much I like my sleep yeah I mean going out three four in the morning yeah, it's good for certain things, but again, you just stand out like a sore thumb because you're the only person walking around, isn't it? That's what it's turned into around here, isn't it? It's yeah, like, yeah. because it's radio silence for the majority of the day, then the night time is like deafening and people can spot people mm-hmm. a mile off, can't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, certain things, yeah, I'll go and do a stupid time. Let's talk about, let's talk about the roller. 
situation that you've you've gone and got yourself involved with. Like you're bang on the rollers at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it just started because I didn't I didn't have any I didn't have the money for fucking aerosols. Racking is proving difficult at yeah. the minute. Like the shops are on it, they're quiet, fucking, yeah. so it's not, yeah. Found a load of t- tins of mulch yeah. in an abandoned building. And I started it. I fucking found a roll of hole. Yeah. And that was it. What's the deal? You feel like it's, does it, does it create um, more versatility for you? Do you feel like you, you can get more out of it? It's just more impactful, more isn't impact, it? Like, yeah, yeah it's fucking bigger letters are there in your face. Mm. And I, to, to some extent, I feel like it's more rewarding because at the end of it, I feel like I've done something. It's hard work. Really, it's a grind. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's a graft. Uh, you feel like you've done something after. I mean, I did one not too long ago, fucking 32 stories on that block of flats over by the uh, Chinese island. And, uh, yeah, I was leaning... I had to lean over for that one. And it was, I don't like heights. Whoa, fuck! <laughs> and how, how high do you have to have the pole to, get, to get up there? For for that one, like like I said, I was leaning over and with my roller pole down, which my my, my roller pole's six foot. Jeez. Um, and then you can extend them if you want with another roller. But yeah, so that one was a bit sc- that was pretty terrifying. Like yeah, that that's that's really taking. It's a stretch yeah. to say the least. But it's worth it. It's fun. Yeah, I enjoy it. It was like the whole the whole process of that. Like I had to. Make myself look like a builder. Like, there's a concierge at the bottom going in a stupid time up the top, break a few doors. <laughs> really? So you yeah. were just like, you were really playing up to the yeah, whole thing? Yeah, it's done now. It's locked off like it's buffed it. It's gone. But, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I was talking to Tempo Man and he was saying that the buff is, you guys are chasing that buff a lot. Again, though, that's why I might, like, I have to go up. Yeah. Ain't no one climbing to You've get that. You've got to go up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no one climbing to get that shit. Like, uh, yeah, we've lost a couple that I've done at the top, but. They're more they, like the council won't bother him with that. No, they won't bother him with that shit now. Unless it's private. Council are hard on it though, right? They seem to be, yeah. Like even the subways, you can go any subway. Leicester, I went there the other day. That was the subways there, battered, little illegal. Or Rampton, these are local cities, you know. Yeah. Legal. Come to Brum, every subway gets fucking buff. Mm. Yeah, you were talking before we started about like the, the kind of you know you you were going out of town a little bit and yeah. seeing what was around. So where, where else? You know, I mean, we're talking black country now. Where about where about you? You? I mean, like heading out? like like say last night I went to went to Burton, mm. fucking Derby way. You know, you don't have to stick in your city to get up. You yeah, can yeah. go everywhere. Uh, some bits in London, but it's too big. It's fucking yeah. intimidating. It's like a, it's like a drop in the ocean, isn't it? Yeah, you, yeah. You I mean, where, wherever I go, I try and leave something. Yeah. Whether that's in the UK or abroad, like did a Berlin trip not too long ago. Again, that was that was eye opening for the graph. Like yeah. it's fucking unreal. Like, yeah. um, I mean, before I'd seen stuff of Berlin before. So we, me and a couple of the boys, did one abseiling mission, which was fucking that was that was good as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's like fifty foot, sixty foot bridge maybe, fucking running across the live rail at seven o'clock, seven on the evening. On a bridge. Yeah, clip on, jump over, drop some dubs. What? Oh, it was hey, are you experienced in this? Uh, <laughs> this is some I, uh, <laughs> No word of a lie. I had 10 minute rope lesson from Void, Big Up Void. <laughs> 10 minute Void, void lesson saved my life. Void. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was good. That was saved my life on that one. You're mad, man. That's it, I, crazy. I, that was, I come back onto Graph because I had like a few, I had many years off from all the occasions back in like early 2000 Graph. Yeah, you know, yeah, the beef yeah. was then, it was real then. Yeah. But uh, came back, saw that spot. I was like, I'm having that. Many people say, no, it's not happening. People, are, you, there's a lot of talkers. Yeah, I want that spot. I love that spot. You basically went from naught to a hundred, <laughs> from not much. doing graph to doing the most scary. Sh- yeah, pretty much. That was, but it's yeah. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to paint a picture of you, Al. I feel like, first of all, I feel like you're a, a bit of a kind of lone, a lone star. I don't feel like you're. You're, you're accompanying yourself with too many people. You kind of do your own thing. Mm-hmm. And second of all, I feel like you are all or nothing in your experiences in graph. Yeah, I mean, like, like, um, like you say, the lone thing, total, that's totally me. Like, I, there's no one responsible if I get caught. Mm. There's no one to get hurt. To, you mm. know, anything. Mm. If it's my mission and I take someone and they get hurt, it's on me. Yeah. If I go out on my own, there's no one to blame, and it like yeah, it just, I feel you. Just, just it's work. It's like I say, I said to you earlier, it's it's a sport. It's play a game. Yeah. Do it on your own. 
And I've, I've, I've chatted to a bunch of people like that before. And I've got to say, not that I'm, I'm in any way, you know, educated to, to vouch for it, but if I was to go and do something like that, I, I wouldn't want to go with anybody else. I mean, I've got, I got a couple of rules. Like, I won't... I don't really do rooftops on my own. You know, we, we, we lost a guy, Tame, rest in peace. Tame? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, big up yeah. AFS, man, for keeping his, keeping his name alive. The whole time. But, you know, that I won't do them on my own. I'll generally take someone, one person, make sure it's safe, no wet days. No, just don't be stupid. Yeah, but the one thing that stuff. bugs me the most is when people are like, I can't go out painting, I've got no one to paint with. Do it for yeah. yourself, no one yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. You ain't doing it for no one. In for you, isn't it? That seclusion, which we're talking about here, it's um, it, it for all these reasons, it's it's good, but um, that spotting, like you're saying, if you're doing a, a roof roller or whatever, to have someone to spot you like that, is key. Do you ever get feelings like you've gone out and done something, or you're on a mission and something, and you all of a sudden you're thinking, "Fuck! I wish someone else was here. I'm in a I'm in a pickle." Have you ever had those experiences? If I ever get to that situation, I don't do it. Like, okay. I'll leave. And, like, you know, always go where you get. I've mm. been out on a few missions with, like, with a couple of my boys and we we planned for months. Mm. And uh, he got there. Uh, my one pal, he had a bad feeling. Mm. You just go where you get. If you don't have the feeling, don't do it. Like, it's the most important thing on the planet. Safety is paramount, isn't it? Like, mm. you don't want to die for graph. And I say this all the time, man. Don't die for graph. Like this is just a, this is a scene. It's good. It's good. Um, you know, this is a scene. But you know, we don't we don't advocate any of that kind of behaviour. If anything is at a risk, don't don't do it, man. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't do it drunk neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other thing, isn't it? The only time I've ever been arrested was being drunk. Really? Yeah. Fucking. You stupid. don't come across like a kind of drinky kind of guy. Not really. No. Nah. I'm a liability then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it get silly when you get drunk? Yeah, it can do. <laughs> I respect it though. Can if do. you know, don't do it. Yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the worst when I'm drunk. Man. Yeah, it gets me into trouble. Yeah, yeah. painting or not painting. I've never had an experience with alcohol that, I, that, and this is only in hindsight now. I've stopped drinking. Nothing ever really could come of it ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It doesn't. Nothing comes good from drinking. <laughs> good. Like, no. Who are your influences? Like who? What crews were your, were your influences? What would be the, you know, the... Who, so, who, who, you know, who, who were It's inspiring? strange again, because like I say, I, like, I've, I've moved around, I've lived a lot of places. And for me, like, I've never really just looked at people's graph like that. I just, yeah. I've just drew. And like, over the time, it gets better, doesn't it? You know, you keep drawing, you keep drawing, these shapes come out. And yeah, yeah. Do you feel like, oh, so you're not necessarily influenced entirely on graph? No, I do other things. I, like... Again, we're from the street culture, I skate. I've skated for 12 years. So, you know, silly is looking, looking at a building, you know, you can see a shape or a, a letter in, in, mm. in, in the architecture and the things that you see around. So you mm. don't need to look at graph to find out. Like. Nice, yeah. See, we're doing street culture around here, baby. You know, <laughs> my combat, you know, cool. you know the coup, don't you? So he does skate. He skate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up idea. Oh, hold tight. Yeah, hold tight. We, this spot right here, I mean, you know, we talk about gentrification, but this is on the f- crest of like, yeah, this is some, this is some uh, pretty trendy area that this has turned into, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know what From mean? what it was a few years ago. Graffiti store on the back there. Hold tight. Graffitiice.com. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you're 360, you're, you, you know, it's not just graph, it's, it's a whole bunch of street disciplines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Like, what was it? Well, you say that it's strange. I skated for twelve years. I know one person. I know a couple of writers, but mm. really, like, they're just skaters. Writers are writers. Mm. That's what. That's what I've come across. Like, there's a couple of people doing it though, like the hated. You know, the hated. yeah. I uh, rate them highly. They're doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. I rate them highly. Yeah. Good, 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 good bits they're doing, like with the skating, the yeah. painting, and the branding. The yeah, nice. No, Brought yeah. a few bits from them. Are there any other crews like that over over these sides in the Midlands or, you know, like skate and paint? Yeah, like anybody that that, that collectively are, uh, are forging a path of brand as well as street culture. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Not really. No, nah, no. Nah. It's untapped, isn't it? It's mm. mad how untapped it is. I don't think people are dialed like that here. Though. They, don't, they don't want a brand. They just want to paint for themselves. Like, yeah. like I say, the people that are doing bits, they just want to paint. Yeah. And that's, that's how it should be, isn't it? Like, you can sell bits of art here and there, go for it, but 
Can you see a Brum style? Yeah, there's always been a Brum star. Yeah. You know, Zuki, I just saw him plod up somewhere, fucking, mm. you know, Corsa. Yeah. These people, they they, they yeah. formed what, we, what we've got in it. Like, I, d- I don't know. I don't know what it is we got. I like it to be readable, but mm. different. Like, I try and make it as different as I can. I mean, I think I'm far from... I've got lots to learn. Let's mm. put it that way. There's a lot to learn. Do you feel like you challenge the letters? Do you attack them in a... T- do you... I mean, maybe you haven't thought so deeply about it, but do you tackle uh, letters with the intention to uh, to uh, make each one unique in the way that you do? Not, mm, not really. I don't think. No, I just put some lines on the paper, yeah. give them a wiggle. Yeah. That's the best. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, that's the story of my life, baby. But, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have moments. I'll have like, I don't know, sketching. Fucking ten hours a day, all yeah. day, every day for a month, and then six yeah. months no sketching. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you sketch? You do you you sketch like you you paint, or you paint more than you sketch? It started me sketching more. So yeah. I sketched a lot more. Yeah. And then, like I said, until I got some balls and decided to go out find some things. And what was it like when you first got the balls? I mean, that must have freaked you the fuck out. Like, yeah, it was. I, mean, I, I can't remember my first spot like out of out out of Digbeth, yeah. but like. Yeah, it was. It was weird because it's just like, okay, this is... It's not so relaxed here. People are looking at me like it's shouldn't be doing this. Mm, yeah, I bet. Because <laughs> here, people just walk past, don't even bat an eyelid, don't say anything. Really? Maybe so, that's nice. Yeah. Canals, the same. Oh, I hate the canals, though. Why do you think people's attention to that uh, uh, is slightly more, you know, uh, celebrated? Why do why do people celebrate you doing in Digbeth, but if you go down to any other junction or... I mean, you guys have clearly done the work, but... Why is it frowned upon anywhere else? I don't understand. Not a clue. I think it's for the likes that, you know, a few years ago we've had a, well, we've had a few events here. We had B-Side Festival, yeah. fucking City of Colours. Yeah. And they were all held here. So yeah. I think, I just think that people's vision is a bit warped and it's, it's okay because they said it's okay here. Yeah. But because everyone says it's not okay there, mm. that's when people are like, you shouldn't be doing it here. Yeah, for sure. I, I know I feel that. But... Look around, someone could be painting that same shit for free for someone on the mm. side of their building and they could be loving it, but instead they'll watch them paint before they've finished. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing this? Yeah. That looks shit, but you haven't finished yet. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, I get bits of it, like, tags is, you know, that's, that's a fundamental part of graffiti, but yeah. sometimes I understand because people don't learn to do tags. No. People are just shit and it just looks a mess. Some people are good at tags and some people aren't. I've yeah, like, that's yeah, what I've realised. Tagging in itself, it's, it can be a form, it's an art form, yeah. isn't it? Like, some magical taggers out there, like, my hands aren't great, but yeah. Yeah. they do the job. It's funny how some people are just like, they do burners, like, the back of their hand, but then when it comes to doing, like, a tag, it's... That's it, always intrigued me. Yeah, you need to learn to tag first. That's important. Yeah, yeah. Because then you perfect everything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Um... Most riskiest time. Give me the most riskiest mission you've ever been on. Where you thought to yourself, man, I would never do that again. Or, oh, fuck, that was close. There's never really been one that I wouldn't do again. Like I say, the bridge, it was pretty sketchy. Like, uh, I'd never, like I said, never... You would do it again? I'd do it again. Straight away. <laughs> but, like, you know, maybe have a bit of a longer lesson on how to use some fucking ropes because it, it was scary. There was a time with my pal Grizz, uh, doing some trackside stuff. We miscalculated where the fucking passenger line was and the freight line. Uh-uh. Uh, we were painting on the freight line, come through it fucking on the night time, only a few metres away, and, you know, just ducked into this little, like, alcove. And it's no further than you are from me. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. see it. I could just, we could just hear this roaring. Just real good. It felt like ten minutes, but, you know, probably like a minute, two minutes. Yeah. That was that was a weird one, because it's you're so close to death, like it's mm. weird. And Too that, close that, to death, man. Yeah, I mean that puts me off. It put me off tracks a little bit, but again, I'll still do them when I can be asked. <laughs> Don't see the risk in it though, like. Yeah. Track sides are the thing here. Yeah, I, mean, I would imagine it's risky as fuck. Like. Yeah, I mean they've just buffed a load, so it's, it's open game for everyone again at the minute. Yeah, so. I've heard. Yeah, I heard that was the uh, that was the new. Yeah, yeah. The new thing. And then I got caught on a roof for like 45 minutes while the police were fucking sitting at the bottom the other week. Literally. Were they waiting for you? No, yeah, you're yeah, up yeah. There. I got fucking spotted up there. 
They didn't know how I got up because they had to climb up some, some weird shit to get there. But yeah, they waited fucking ages. Wow. Ages. Um, my paint and that's still up there now. Really? Yeah. So they went eventually? Yeah, they, they left eventually. I think they think we left off via another roof. Yeah. But there wasn't another way down. Left some fucking bolt crops and... Well, Actually, that's a really good point. From a, from a, you know, from a geographical perspective, rooftops are fucking hard and the re- re- reward is sick, but there's only one way. <laughs> Generally, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the one way up, one way down. Like, if you're lucky, you might have a fire escape. But yeah. I, again, like, it is, it's a task getting the roofs because I've had to break and enter into a few places to get to them. Yeah. Break locks, fucking... Not my... Really? Yeah, I mean... Does, that, does that leave you a little uncomfortable, like you having no, to... I, I, no, I wouldn't say I'm comfortable, because I wouldn't do it. Mm. But it's probably not the best thing to be doing, is it? But well, it becomes I, a secondary job to what the thing you're actually trying yeah, to do. Yeah, I see it, I mean... I guess. But that's all part of the process for me as well. It's like a, few, a roof I did a few months ago. Yeah. My first process for my first day was, yeah, breaking the locks, making sure I could get in, lock yeah. the door, put my own locks on. Mm. The next day, go and get the job done, finish. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's <laughs> actually mad. What, so you got the, you went and put the locks back on. Yeah, I got my own locks on there. I got the key on at home. It's got a fucking six-story building that I can just go and paint any day. Oh my god, you've killed it! It's That's fucking, such a good it's idea. Sick. It's fresh, man. It's lovely. <laughs> Let's go back there. Can I come in? No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine now. House yeah, yeah. That smashed it. House ain't playing out here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I guess that's part of the glory of doing shit on your own you find the best things I mean I'd finish when, when I was in work I'd finish work get on the train go somewhere mm. see where I end up find all sorts of shit like it's been it's good I've also fa- I've also noticed around here that graph writers can be quite territorial Oof. that's one of the again that's one of the big main reasons that I'm uh, mainly paint solo yeah. because it is it's so clicky so territorial, but like, I mean, big respect to everyone. Like, pretty much everyone showed me love and love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, me too. Oh. He's he's great. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you don't give any reason to want to be a bitch. But like, it's it's hard to paint with people. Mm. Like, you can go anywhere else really. You can talk to other people. You can go and paint with whoever you mm-hmm. want. But here, you're trying to meet to paint with people, they're not on it. They're all just very clicky. Yeah, they're on their thing. Yeah, yeah. There are, there's, a, there's, a, there's a share of people that are doing their thing and there's, there's people that could be doing more. Yeah. Doing more? Yeah, there could be more. Who do you want to see doing more? Because <laughs> you like them. Yeah, actually, that's more specific. No, nah, there, there, <laughs> is, there is one kid and he's absolutely smashing it. It's a kid called Zane. Zane? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the one that's kept me on my toes to be up on the roofs and that because he's fucking killing it. Mm. He's doing well. Mm. Uh, he started just... Just tagging, just mm. just doing little bits. But yeah, no, he's he's progressing. He's doing well. Like it, it's good to see. It's refreshing. Mm. Someone that's like half my age, mm. just absolutely smashing I'm it. Tight Zane, I love it. Stay safe. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. And you know, you know, what I really value about you, brother. Like you're all about the athleticism, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I feel like you you you're a part of you're part of something that you know full well. Let me check the time on this. Um, yeah, you know full well that. Uh, there is a shelf life to what you do. There's a turnaround that you need to achieve, and there is a uh, there's a there's a sportsmanship to it, and just deal with the matter. Mm-hmm. I kind of respect that a lot more than people, because you know the, the street art scene, which is in equal measure quite a risky business around here compared to most cities. Uh, it doesn't work like that, does it? it no. it's, it's 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 a commodity in in places, isn't it? Yeah. Which is a shame. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a battle that we're just going to keep losing. We you could win. We could win. Yeah. But everyone needs to just step up and absolutely batter the shit out of everything. <laughs> oh, not that I'm advocating that on the Killer Killer podcast, of course. <laughs> just don't try this at home, kids. Yeah. Any shout outs you want to give my brother? Ooh. That's too Before many. it starts raining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were really, really taking a piss. Give any shout outs you want to give, my man. Gonna big up my boys, Asbo and fucking Grizz. Fucking, they've been with me since day one. Mm-hmm. Right then, they've looked after me. Yeah. Uh, all my crews, 2C, KBS, uh, 187, fucking uh, LRS. There's another one. FRB, yeah. I'm sure I said that. It's all good, we mm-hmm. got there. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, big up to all the Brum hitters that are, that are doing bits. Mm-hmm. 
And the guys that aren't, step up, do some more. Mm. That's all I can ask for. What excites me about you, sir, is like I feel like you have an age where this is probably not going to be the last time you and me are going to chat. Because <laughs> I think your journey is like you're in it. And uh, you're just progressing. My journey's just starting. Yeah, I'm saying. It is. And I'm really glad to have got you at the top. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's my really guy. It's a fucking pleasure. My Don Alst, Inside the Place, Killer Killer Podcast, keeping it moving, Brum style, all right? Mm-hmm.